This is Andy with Stocks. Today is Monday, November 8, 2010. Today we're going to take a look at Joe's Jeans, Inc. This is a NASDAQ capital market stock. Today we're going to ticker J-O-E-Z. This chart had a really nice look to it right through here. Starting to make some higher lows, possibly a big rounded bottom. Thought this might try and take off. Everything was lined up. It slipped through, fell through support. Like we talked about a lot of different times, stocks will come down, they'll find a bottom, they'll want to come back up and test the underneath side of that support. So we're going to put Joe's on radar to see if this is going to indeed make that move. See, we're starting to get a nice climb in the MACD histogram. About ready to break through zero. That tells us we are getting a bullish cross of the signal line. Same way with the PPO. What these things are going to need to do is, if it's going to try and make a move, this is really going to be a candle play based on that support and resistance. But if it's going to make a stronger move, we're going to look at this to come all the way up into this area to try and establish a new high or low. If it wants to continue back down and try and test this other support, we'll also keep a very long-term picture of it through there. But the primary thing right now is looking at this across the histogram through zero and the breaking of the signal line. Then we're going to pay attention to this challenging old support resistance levels. The ADX is kind of poised in a pretty good position right through this area when the negative DI and the positive DI were kind of at a little bit more extreme levels. That was when this place should go on radar. And you can see right through there is when it started to make its move, a bounce off a buck fifty. It's already made a pretty decent move since then. But we're going to look for this to make a continuation. MFIs are in a nice position. You see this gold line coming through here, the 21. Got a pretty good downtrend, but starting to flatline. See two valleys right here. Looks like it's going to try and make a turn. 7 and 14 are breaking through that right now, so we're going to look for this 21 to curl. So the MFIs are in a pretty nice position. Accumulation distribution in a pretty good downtrend, but we're starting to see a hint of a turn. What we're going to look for there is something along these lines. We want to see it break through this level. And move to the north side of that. So making a new higher low for starters, it'll be challenging this old level. What you really want to see then is it trying to get up into here, make a move above, make a new higher high than it did right through here. Trying to establish an uptrend basically is what you want to start seeing in the accumulation distribution. Same way with shaking money flow. Definitely selling pressure over these last probably three and a half, four months has been very strong. Very little time up in here in the green with buying pressure, overriding selling pressure. Down here kind of around the bottom, a historical sort of low for it. So we're going to look for that turn, look for this to climb back towards zero. CCI starting to flatline a little bit right there. That's a bit of a concern. We want to see this push back up and break through zero because overall it has a pretty nice look to it. See it started to uptrend back towards a negative 100. So you don't want, if this wants to even flatline, wants to see it come down and bounce back off, continue this tread line, trend towards zero. Still not in a bad position, breaking through negative 100. People that got in on that break when everything else was kind of set up right through here are sitting pretty nice at this point. It's all followed along with the full stow coming off that bottom level, making a break back up through 20 and heading towards 50. So we want to see this break of 50 show that there's some real momentum coming into this stock. Tricks, we're even getting the hint here of a flat line. If that can make a turn, it'll be a slightly higher low. It will be a very small uptrend. Somewhat of a channel. You can see it's extending a little bit. What's important is we see this flatten and cross and break through that signal line and start trending back towards zero. In the long term, this might have a pretty nice look to it. The market just opened today. You see us actually trading down a half a percent. Volume around 100,000 shares. We're going to want to see volume get up a little bit higher. Like I say, the market just opened. Slight gap down to it, pulling back up. We're going to see if this is going to push forward. The thing I'm looking for here, this old support level, $1.80 to be tested. Like I said, you see close, it's at $1.70 right now. Still another dime move up to it. I want to see what it does when it gets to that point. There's the 20-day moving average, the middle Bollinger Band being tied right in with that old support. Now resistance, want to see if it's going to blow through that or not. I want to see this RSI get through 50. You can see with this little gap down, a little turn down, everything turned back today. So we're going to want to pay attention to that. This is going to come up here and push throughout the course of the day. These will change, this little roll down they have going to them. They'll all be turning straight up. It'll be a very nice look to it if indeed that happens. What needs to happen is it has to come up there and challenge that dollar eighty area. From a support level, really be looking forward to hold right through here around $1.58. It wants to dip back down $1.56. $1.50 is a little bit low. I'd look forward to hold this $1.58 area. That puts the stop loss in a pretty reasonable range. The parabolic SAR is, is already flipped. It's down here at a buck fifty. But everything within this play lies for me to, for this to try and make a move up. Wants to come back down. This might be an entry point, so depending on how it's trading, if it can hold this $1.58, come back down, sit there. That might be a very, very nice entry point. Have to take a look at the indicators and see what they're doing there. But for right now, I'm looking for Joe's to try and make a push because if it can take out this dollar eighty, the next resistance will be here at that 50-day moving average. But it really doesn't meet any price per share resistance for quite a while. There'll be a little bit right here around two dollars, which from where it is is still very nice gains from a dollar seventy to two dollars. 
but then ultimately a top right up there around 220. So I want to see if it can take this out. If it can take this out, I think it might make a roll. It might come up here and test this dollar ninety-five, two dollar area. It might make a roll down and then try and continue to make some higher lows. You'll want to see it hold that dollar eighty as support and then possibly try and make a stronger move. And there's a good chance this will challenge two twenty if it can get any kind of move together. And like I always say, that move starts somewhere. And that's holding this support level, taking out this initial resistance level, which is going to be pretty strong. And then getting up here and challenging this resistance level of two dollars, which is actually a little bit weaker than this dollar eighty. So those are the kind of things that I'll be looking for with J O E Z. As always, this video chart is merely my interpretation. This is Andy with Quality Stocks. Thank you for watching and trade smart.